Greeting Cyber Dogs and citizens of the internet! This is Ren Dog coming at you from deep underground in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we were working on a recycling facility and in this episode we're going to be using diamond transport pipes to enhance that recycling facility and it is gonna be so sweet! Damn! But before we get to that jazz guys, I need to collect these diamonds over here! That's right guys, I came on a bit of a diamond hunting mission because uh, we do not have enough glass fiber cables to um, wire up all of our, mach our machines in the cyber labs and you know what guys, it is driving me crazy man. I really want to be able to power all of my machines using my battery room and my Squidwards and um, I just wanted to try and come find a few more diamonds. Oops, oh my god! So that, <laughs> water, where's the water? Get in the water! <laughs> oh god, I have to jump over lava to get to the water there. There's some water! Oh god! Get in the water! Ah, oh, man. Um, whew, damn. Okay, well, anyway, what was I saying? Yes, so, we need more glass fiber cabling, and for that we need diamonds. So, I came down the uh, lava pump shafts to come and try and find some more diamonds. Remember, the last time we came here, we found some diamonds directly underneath the lava reservoir. But this time around, I've had to go on a little bit of a mining mission. Um, I've collected quite a lot of jazz, as you can see. Just some random loot, some random ores here and there. But most importantly, we have found three more diamonds in the belly, which is excellent. That's going to make us another eight glass fiber cables. So that should be enough um, to be able to at least turn on the power on a few more of our machines, or at the very least, get all of our Squidwoods connected. Um, but guys, we have got a butt ton to get through this in, in this episode, including working with diamond transport pipes. Firstly, what I want to do, guys, is show you the aesthetic en enhancements that I've done to the recycling facility. Hold on to your freaking hats, guys, because it is looking freaking sweet. Damn! Check it out, guys. What I've done is I've added marble cover walls to the entire facility using glass these glass panes which you make in exactly the same way as you make marble panels instead of using blocks of marble with a handsaw you just use um, glass with a handsaw and as you can see um, you can make these really awesome windows looking into the recycling facility itself this looks into the d sort of um, scrap box delivery uh, part of the recycling facility and I've made the wall of the recycling facility this uh, marble cover block which is awesome and I'm going to take you into the, the recycling facility maintenance room. Um, as you can see, I've just adjusted the, uh, the infinite loop slightly, just turning it into cobblestone. You know, the items don't have to whiz around here at full speed. Uh, we've got a couple of gold pipes in the center of, of this uh, infinite loop just to make sure that the items keep up speed. I've also added a manual delivery box over here. So if we've got some jazz, for example, this cobblestone, um, this, I mean, I, I want to keep everything else so let's just say we have this cobblestone in here right let's like uh, make it into a couple of stacks just so that it looks better what we can do is turn on this electrical engine over here and uh, this is going to suck these blocks into the recycling facility from this manual delivery system of course this manual delivery system will also be in the cyber labs top floor eventually but as you can see the items join the infinite loop and um, they go into the recyclers as they should and the recycler will do its business and deliver scrap boxes all the way to the dispenser at the end. Now, you guys have been giving me amazing feedback about this recycling lab and one of you guys said, until you get a proper timing mechanism, why not use a button on your dispenser? And I was like, you know what, that is such a genius idea, I'm going to be using a button from now on. I've also encased our obsidian pipe in these glass covers so that, that items spitting out of the dispenser, sometimes they were randomly landing on this block, so I think the dispenser has a, a sort of a radius uh, from which it spits items out so these covers just ensure that the items stay inside this uh, block line and go into the butthole of the obsidian pipe to be sucked into the chest which is most excellent now I don't think we have any scrap boxes yet um, we haven't delivered enough into the recycling uh, facility so what why don't we fire up the quarry a little bit now too? get that running while we work on some other stuff and uh, have a look guys at the quarry I've done quite a lot of quarification as you can see man the quarry is looking full up uh, <laughs> and it is looking mobified um, beyond reason man. They're, <laughs> they're, there's basically just death in there man seriously um, let's flick the switches, get this puppy rolling again, and uh, I think that should that should get rid of all of the mobs eventually once the laser beam goes over them. So there you can see the quarry is running nicely just behind these spiders, 
and uh, we should start seeing items shooting into our uh, in, into our recycling facility um, via these gold transport pipes. Here comes the cobblestone entering the auto crafting table to be made into cobblestone slabs. And now um, these items will enter the infinite loop. And as you can see, um, they are going into the recyclers and eventually this infinite loop will um, fill up with items. Um, there we can, we can already see it starting to fill up. So that is sweet. Now let's get to the the uh, business end of this recycling facility and let's have a look at if we are getting any new scrap boxes into the dispenser yet um, doesn't look like it but as soon as we do we will press that button and see what we can get guys have a look at what i've managed to pull out of the recycling facility so far it is epic so aside from uh, some rubbish items we've got tin we've got copper we've got aluminum we've got uh, manazite We've got, and most importantly, have a look over here, guys. Where is it now? Um, well, we've got gold dust. We've got calcite dust. We've got all of this amazing jazz over here, man. This is just so sweet. And uh, this thing is just is functioning at such high capacity. It's beautiful, man. Look at all the stuff it's making for us. Empty cells, sulfur dust, like all of this stuff that we wouldn't be able to get without using machines. Um, coal dust, obsidian dust. I mean, how awesome is this, guys? Um, it even made us a cooked pork chop, so <laughs> that is awesome. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put that cooked pork chop in the belly as soon as I need to eat, because um, that is just epic. Even a pumpkin, and uh, man, this, you know, this is just, this is awesome. I'm just ab absolutely loving this. Now, in this episode, guys, what we need to do is make sure that the items that we deliver out of the dispenser, um, that we are re-delivering items that need to be recycled once again into the recycling facility and re-delivering scrap into the auto crafting tables because obviously this thing has a chance to make scrap and it actually makes quite a lot of scrap. So what we need to do is make sure that that scrap gets rewired into the recycling facility. Um, what we're also going to do today, guys, is work on a couple more MFEs and um, try and complete our power network over here. I've actually created another two MFEs, one over here and one over here, which is underneath the quarry power box. And I've also made all of the new Squidwoods too. Check it out. You can see them up there um, in the power um, in the power plant. So we now have six Squidwoods, but we do not have enough glass fiber cabling to get them all wired up, unfortunately. So in this episode, we're going to be trying to get that sorted out. Now, the quarry is going, my lord, there are Endermen in there too. We're going to be able to make the most epic freaking mob farm out of this quarry hole. It's going to be ridiculous how awesome it's going to be, man. Seriously. Let's have a look. How's it going here? So it looks like the recyclers are doing their business. A lot of you guys have been talking about adding overclockers. Now, what an overclocker does is it allows your recycler to work a little bit better um, and a little bit faster too. So if we see that our recycling facility can't handle the quarry being on for an extended period of time, we'll look into making overclocking uh, chips. And you put those chips into the recyclers to make them function a bit better. But what I really want to see now, guys, is our new dispenser working. Okay, we've got five scrap boxes in there and our new um, item receiving system also. I want to make sure that this is all working correctly. So let's have a look. So that was scrap, right? I'm pretty sure that was scrap or it was, what was that? Copper dust maybe? It was one of these dusts, I think. Right, let's, there we go. Now that was scrap. You guys see that? Um, where is the scrap going? Or was that netherrack dust? What the heck? Right, so there is a piece of scrap, right? That is most definitely a piece of scrap. Um, but why can't I... S That's so weird, man. Why can't we see the scrap in this chest? There it is. Okay, um, I don't know what was happening there. I think it was uh, maybe lagging because of the quarry. But there is the scrap, right? So we need to make sure that we get this scrap back into the recycling plant. Um, now, the way that we're going to do this is using a gold, uh, using a diamond pipe because what a diamond transport pipe does, as we saw in the previous episode, is you can tell the diamond transport pipe using its color schemes where to send items. So in this diamond transport pipe, for example, we are telling... Um, the, we are telling the transport pipe that only these items can go into the red pipe. Um, and of course, this red pipe goes into the recycling facility. So guys, what I'm going to do is head up into the cyber lab, sort out my inventory, peel off my sweaty armor and get ready for some freaking crafting and get ready to make an epic freaking recycling pipe network for the recycling facility. So guys, I will see you on the other side of this Kaplan. Kaplan! 
Alright Cyberdogs, we are back in the power plants. I have dropped off all of my items from my mining mission. I have exactly what we need to create what we need in this episode and I cannot wait to get going guys. So without further ado, let's get cracking. We're starting in the power plant because I want to show you guys the new Squidwards. Unfortunately, if we go into the maintenance level, you'll see that the Squidwards are not connected up. And it is in fact these Squidwards that are currently powering our MFEs. But hopefully we we're going to be able to get a few more diamonds to be able to, to get everything hooked up properly. I've created two more MFEs over here in the power plant room, as you can see, or in the battery room rather. And uh, let's head over to the machine room where we can um, complete some of the work that we need to do, including making a final MFE. If you guys remember how to make an MFE, really basic. Um, all we need to do is get some energy crystals and uh, we can actually use rubies instead of diamonds to make enemy energy crystals. So we actually wasted some diamonds on our first MFE, unfortunately. One of you guys told me about that. So um, thank you for saving me a whole bunch of diamonds. <laughs> Uh, but now all we're going to do is finish off our MFE just like that. Kaplam! Beautiful. So that MFE is now completed. All we're going to have to do is go and install that into the battery room. And of course, last thing we need to do today, guys, is make a, a few more... Um, oops! No, no, no! We definitely don't want to be making... Um, we definitely don't want to be making diamond transport pipes. We've definitely got enough of those. What we are trying to make is glass fiber cabling. And man, those spiders are going crazy. The quarry is completely jam-packed at the moment with mobs. And um, what we do need is some of these silver ingots to make our glass fiber cables. And actually, I think we need more glass too. <laughs> man, it, Feed the Beast is so crazy. Just when you think you are like totally organized and on top of everything, it's the small recipes that get you, man. Seriously. Oh, and by the way, I disabled the... Uh, the, the the nether portal because the the noise was driving me crazy <laughs> um it was it was like a constant sound going over and over again and it was making me crazy man um so there we go guys we can make quite a few glass fiber cables in fact i'm gonna use all of the diamonds for this that gives us another 18 glass fiber cables and bringing our total up to 25 glass fiber cables which is most excellent i must say that might be enough to actually rewire our machine room um i think what i want to do is maybe try and kill some of these spiders because man they are making a butt ton of noise and uh come at me come at me bro man check how many mobs are, are gathering over here man Take it here and this is like an XP fest up in here. Oh god! Woo! Damn! And there's a creeper down there. Uh, that ain't good news. Alright, let's get out of here, man. That That is not... That, yeah, that, that is not a place to be for an unarmored scientist. That all, that's all I can say. Um, but guys, I want to install our final MFE right over here. Um, let's just get a piece of marble down there. Mm, I'm looking forward to eating that pork chop too, man. Mm, it's going to be good. So, our final MFE is now installed, but unfortunately, they are not powered. Uh, yet, that is. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get them powered pretty soon. Um, you know what I think I might do, actually, guys? I've just, I've just thought of a, <laughs> an efficient way to get rid of all of these mobs that are making this butt ton of noise. Why don't we get a bucket of lava and basically melt them let's uh, let's get rid of them man they are driving me crazy with their their whining and their, their noises um so let's get a bucket of water out of our tanks and uh we're gonna show these freaking mobs what it feels like to burn what up zombies oh god that is an enderman is that an enderman coming for me Let's try, let's try get rid of these mobs without blowing anything up. Burn, you bastards! Burn! <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. That actually worked. Um, man, that is hilarious. <laughs> okay, sweet. We can add this lava back into the... Can we add it back in here? There we, there we can, okay. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, guys. Nice distraction, and I think it's time that we now eat our pork chop. Um, because damn, am I hungry after all of that. Mmm, tasty. Alright, so let's get to the business end of this episode, guys. And that is creating um, a, a diamond 
transport pipe that is going to be able to send the items that we don't want to keep um, in our chests back into the recycling facility. So let's place our diamond pipe right over here, right? And uh, let's get our golden transport pipes out. And now this is going to go down into these canals that I've already uh, made over here. And uh, what we want, okay, so the items are coming out of the dispenser. Now what is going to go down the black uh, pipe? What we want to go down the black pipe is um, scrap, flint, because we definitely don't want flint, grass block, yeah, we definitely don't want a grass block, and then also um, cobblestone and um, cobblestone and stone, right? We definitely don't want any of those going down there. So what we need to do is, can we actually open these chests from here? Let's have a look. Yes, we can, sweet. Uh, so there's a, there's a bit of stone and there's a bit of cobblestone and there is a bit of dirt. Um, now these are the items we do not want anywhere near our storage units, right? Because we just don't have anything, uh, we don't have any, any way to deal with those items. They're complete rubbish items. And uh, what we're going to do is add those to the black pipe, just like this. So anything, any of these items are going to go into the black pipe. Um, what I also want to add in here is wooden tools and, and, and such that are going to come into here. So what we'll do is update the black pipe with items that we don't want um, from this chest as they come through, right? Now, these items are, um, what we need to do is just fill up these black, uh, fill up all the spaces or random items will go into the pipe um, sometimes. Now what we want to do is make sure that the scrap goes back into the auto crafting tables and that all of these items go back into the actual recycling facility itself. So all we have to do to do that guys is add another diamond transport pipe to the bottom here. Um, and what we're doing here is saying that, uh, if we just go to a different tool, um, this pipe, right, which is going to go into the, uh, an auto crafting table over here that uses scrap to create scrap boxes, just in this red pipe, just scrap um, is going to go through. So any scrap that comes down from this uh, diamond transport pipe is going to go in this direction back into that auto crafting table. Now let's lay another pipe down here and we're going to say that all other items are going to go, um, all these items are now going to go, uh, oops, All of the items that we specified in the black pipe are going to go through the blue ones. So let's get these items back into the into blue, just like this. So now what this is ensured is that all of these items that we do not want in our uh, storage rooms are going to go back into the recycling facility and be remade into scrap boxes. So basically what we're doing here is just making it a more efficient recycling facility um, using these diamond transport pipes to redirect the materials if, you know, to where they should be. So let's do a little bit of, um, of dispensing over here. How many scrap boxes have we got? We've got 20 scrap boxes, which is excellent. And I think I just saw a little piece of scrap and uh, that sh should have gone out of here just to test and yes there is the scrap it has actually gone out of there so that is absolutely perfect so all we got to do now is connect this pipe to the auto crafting table and this is going to send any scrap that our dispenser produces back into um, back into this uh, let's have a look back into this um, auto crafting table over here so there we go sweet let's just lay the paneling down again just make sure that everything is always looking spiffy. That's probably not going to work. Okay, excellent. So um, that's looking fantastic. And what we can do now is actually just cover the shame of this pipe. Um, just like this. We know it's under there, but we don't have to see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, here we go. So we're just going to fix this up. And um, that is going to be this fork of our new uh, sorting facility done. There we go, looking fantastic. Now, all we gotta do is lay the pipe from the blue uh, exit pipe of our diamond transport pipe all the way back to the original diamond transport pipe over there because that original drop diamond transport pipe is gonna recognize the items coming through here as items that need to be recycled and it's gonna send those items back into the recycling unit, um, into the beginning of the recycling unit, right? So here we go. And uh, the reason that I added these 
these levers here to the black line is just to fill them up so that no random items that come in this direction go down the black pipe because that can happen. Um, so now only these items, you can see I already added some of the wooden items um, to the, the, the red line over here. And all we got to do is add those items again to the, the diamond transport pipe at the, the business end of the recycling lab when we get them again. Um, but let's cover this up like this so that everything is looking sweet. We don't even know that this is happening underneath the ground of uh, the Cyber Labs maintenance level. But now everything should be working beautifully. Let's press the button a couple times. That looks like scrap. That should have gone in that direction back into the recycling facility. There's some more scrap. And it looks like we got 24 of these um, scrap boxes to open, which is awesome. So let's get these open. And there was some dirt. So that. That's going to go back into the recycling facility in that way. And um, let's just open all of these things, man. So in the next episode, guys, what we're going to be working on is a way to automate this process that I'm doing right here. Um, some of you guys have mentioned using a redstone timer. Um, some of you guys have given me some designs for using redstone repeaters and uh, stuff like that. So I just want to thank everybody who's been uh, giving me such amazing ideas on how to automate this dispenser box. And uh, we're going to be doing that in the next episode, man. That is going to be awesome. Um, but let's just open all of our scrap boxes manually for now. And uh, let's have a quick look at what we got in our chest. Um, let's see if we got any sweet ass items in our chest. Well, we got some appetite, which is pretty sweet, I guess. Um, we got another cooked pork chop. I mean, that, that, that is awesome. A day's work rewarded with a cooked pork chop. I will take that any day of the freaking week, man. Um, that is sweet. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, guys, uh, just to end this episode, look, we also got a single-use battery. Got a whole bunch of sweet stuff here, man. Um, I'm just going to leave the recycling facility to run now. We're running the quarry at full blast, at full power, and it does look like, wow, it looks like um, the infinite loop is getting very filled up. So I think what we should do is just lower the power down a little bit just power it down just a tad and um, what i want to do next is repower our machine room using our glass fiber cables as the last task the last task for today um, so let's get that done and it looks yeah that's all good industrial electrolyzer and macerator sweet all right guys excellent oh man this is awesome I'm so glad to be getting power back into our machine room. It, it just, it feels so ugly um, not having these beautiful machines that we've crafted um, fully powered and fully functioning, man. It just, oh God, the OCD is just, it's too much to handle, man. It kills me. Um, but it looks like we have found just enough diamonds. Well, we'll, we'll have a little bit extra, I think, too, which, which, you know, can't ever complain about too much glass fiber cabling, man. Um, there we go. So now our machines are back up and running which is great news and I think what we could also probably do let's have a look how, how is this M M MFE faring man it is losing power because now it's connected to everything basically um, so why don't we head back into the power plant room and connect up our brand new Squidwards to the same power line um, we could probably connect one probably connect two of the new Squidwards to the uh, to the power grid yeah we'll be able to connect two of the Squidwards to the power grid so that's sweet and uh, why don't we get them all firing up at the same time? Squidwards, initiate! Bam! And their little mouths should go red very shortly. There we go. So these Squidwards are up and running. These two Squidwards should be up and running. These are fresh machines. And our MFE should be charging like nobody's business now. There we go. So that is looking freaking fantastic, man. Oh, man. Most excellent. Um... Finally, guys, <laughs> for this episode, what I want to do is get some of my new um, ores into the macerator because we've got some gold, we've got some iron, um, we've got some, what else have we got in here, man? We've got some tin, we've got some lead, all of these things can be macerated. And uh, let's go into the warehouse and see how, how many ores we've actually sucked up out of the quarry um, to date. Wow, man, there is a ton. Copper, gold. Oh my goodness, guys! This is crazy, man. Check how many, check how many ores we've got. This is awesome. We're definitely going to be loading up our uh, our hoppers, that's for sure. Um, there's a bit of iron ore, tin ore. I mean, tin is actually really important. Um, I find. I think that tin is one of the, the most important ores in Feed the Beast. So I'm always happy to get a whole bunch of tin. 
looks like we've got a whole bunch of tin and now um, we're going to be able to to macerate all of these ores in, uh, and double our yield of ores basically and remember guys the macerator is going to deliver the dust straight into the network so all of our um all of our dust is going to end up in the warehouse which is uh, which is really sweet so let's just get all these ores in here the macerator is now doing its business as you can see macerating away the machine room is looking beautiful everything is working great and uh, it looks like our re uh, recycling facility is now running at full blast um, let's have a look at the infinite loop again. I, I can't get enough of coming in here and having a look at this. It is so awesome. I mean, maybe what we'll do is try and add overclockers. Um, cause look at this man, these recycling facilities are actually completely full up with slavage. Um, so they do need to, to run a little bit faster. So we do need to pimp those out a little bit, it seems. But guys, that is the end of this Feed the Beast episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I think it's been freaking sweet. I've had an amazing time working with diamond transport pipes, um, working with enhancing our recycling lab. And there I saw, I saw a wooden tool right there, man. We do not want this wooden ax going into um, our storage room. So I'm just gonna add the wooden ax to the black uh, diamond transport pipe thingy. But guys, in the next episode, I, um, all of the diamond pipes will be configured correctly and we'll be working on a way to automate this dispenser. This has been Ren Dog playing Minecraft Feed the Beast, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, show me the love by smacking that like button or uh, this gangster over here is going to get angry with your ass. Um, he's, he's like a bodyguard, man. He's like the Cyber Labs bodyguard. There's been a couple of robberies um, in Ren Town recently, so I hired a couple of, of beefy guys to come and watch the the expensive equipment in the cyber labs but guys i hope you've enjoyed it man uh, if you haven't subscribed yet you know what to do man you smack that subscribe button here it is and uh guys we will see you in the next episode goodbye my friends